recently i've been getting lots and lots of messages and comments on some of my videos of people telling me how it was such a bad idea for me to quit doing medicine human medicine practicing as a medical doctor to do farming livestock farming how dare you how dare you quit being a medical doctor helping human beings sick people and you choose to go you know work with animals do you know how many people want to become doctors in this world do you know how many people you could have saved by being a medical doctor and do you even know that you took someone's place in your medical class someone who could have studied medicine and become a doctor and now you're here doing nothing you know you're just dealing with animals well in today's video i'm going to be addressing this concern and i'm going to be telling you guys why i think that practicing medicine and doing medicine actually made me a better farmer not just a farmer but a better farmer hi guys welcome back to the channel dr daniel over here a retired medical doctor <laughs> oh my god i swear i don't know if i'll ever get used to saying this it feels so weird even thinking about it and saying it but well it is what it is i'm a retired medical doctor who chose to pursue farming my passion in farming and chose to impact the world in a totally different way so if you're passionate about farming just like i am then you are in the right place please consider hitting the subscribe button smash that notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload and don't forget to hit the like button I'll explain to you guys how this whole medical thing works in Uganda. So when you're in Uganda, most people who study medicine actually do so on a government scholarship. I was blessed and lucky to be among one of the people who got a government scholarship to do medicine. Because it's quite expensive and my parents would never have been able to afford it. So because I had really good grades in school, in my A level, you know, advanced level secondary school, I got a government scholarship for my medicine and so the government paid for me free of charge to study medicine until i graduated five years of studying medicine until graduation on a government scholarship so someone might look at me and say that hey after five years of a government scholarship you took someone else's place you took you know a person who could have become a doctor and helped other people and stayed in the profession's place and now you've quit the profession after barely five years of practice you've run away from the profession you've wasted the government's money okay guys let's first talk about school what's the purpose of this whole thing called school by the way over here we have a maize plantation all this is maize that has been planted just take a look at it that green place maize who guess what for the chickens Anyway, what's the purpose of this whole thing called school? I do believe that the whole idea of school is one of the things that helped me become a better farmer. Number one, I remember when we were at medical school. Guys, medical school in Uganda is quite different from other forms of school. Well, I don't know. Maybe other schools also study like that. But it was strange. From our courses that were in medical school, the lecturer in school would only supply you with around 20% of the information that you need for you to pass your exams so 80 percent of what you actually needed to pass your exams was from personal reading so because of medical school and well even secondary school that i had had before i learned to read alone yeah i had to do lots and lots of personal reading in order to excel in medical school and i believe this has helped me when it came to you know me becoming a farmer currently i'm reading lots and lots about cattle because i hadn't done cattle before i didn't have lots of interest in cattle before but right now i've noticed that i actually love them but because i didn't have lots of information before i've had to do lots and lots of reading i've downloaded lots of books and i'm reading personally for me to become a poultry well expert currently i <laughs> i didn't study any vet guys i didn't study any veterinary medicine i didn't say about chickens I just started reading books, got books and started reading. And I believe it's because of school. Not particularly medical school, but simply because I went to school and I learned to read on my own. Probably it was exaggerated or not exaggerated. It was made better by the fact that I was in medical school because the whole 
purpose and the whole thing of you reading alone was actually extreme in medical school because you have too much to read. So I developed the discipline that causes me to read alone. And because of that, I've gotten the information that has helped me become a reader. Guys, if you want to become successful at anything that you do, you've got to read. So I do lots and lots and lots of reading. And I believe that's because of medical school, because I went to school and for me it was medical school. Whichever school you've gone to, it doesn't really matter. The idea of school is that it helps you learn how to learn. Okay, I've got to a really dirty, muddy place of the farm. Let me first cross it, that way I don't fall down. Looks like the sun is back out. It had been a cloudy day until now. But guys, would you believe the number of weeds in this garden? It's terrible. Now here you can see the maize that we've planted, you know. I don't know if you guys can see it. We have maize over here, maize over here. We have maize all around, but there is so much weeds. I don't know what we're going to do. Of course, we've got to weed them, but the other thing that's really scaring me, guys, is the water. You guys see all that water in the garden? Now, this place gets really swampy, and the rainy season has just begun. It's barely been two weeks since the rain started to fall and we've barely had three four consecutive days of heavy rain but that's not an uncommon thing we could have four five seven days of rain every day and if it so happens i'm scared the whole garden is going to get flooded with rain really really scared and then guys i believe that my knowledge and experience in handling human beings in medicine has also been very crucial and important in me growing up as a farmer. I'm handling livestock and livestock are living things. And because they are living things and while practicing my medicine, I acquired lots of medical knowledge. I kind of know how to deal with livestock, you know, chickens, cattle, like you guys can see in the background. There are quite many actually. I know you guys can see them. Quite a number of cattle. But because of my knowledge in medicine for example recently we had sheep so we had someone give us debts that were not fit for human consumption and so we thought um how about we give these debts to the sheep and the goats so we we're just trying them out and when we tried them out with the sheep guys the sheep really really loved the debts they were eating them but unfortunately after some time one of the sheep developed abdominal you know distension quite quite a number of sheep developed abdominal distension and unfortunately we lost you know we lost a sheep to abdominal distension and i figured out it was probably intestinal obstruction so i did a post-mortem on the sheep and i found that the seeds you know sheep are ruminants just like the cows the goats they are ruminants they have multiple stomachs and they regurgitate their food chew on their food after some time so in trying to regurgitate the food the ship the ships you know um intestine was blocked by the seeds because they can't chew the seeds and that leads to intestinal obstruction and the ship dies so that's something that was very easy for me to pick out because of my knowledge in medicine because i know that intestinal obstruction kills it kills and it's really terrible and then this medical knowledge that i've acquired over time has actually also helped me a lot when it comes to dealing with my chickens you know because for example the other time when i had full typhoid i knew that this can be really terrible especially the acute type because typhoid in any kind of animal whether it's human beings whether it's chickens is terrible and it can kill especially if it is the acute type so when the vet told me that hey you have the acute type of fall typhoid i was like oh my god i'm in trouble i had to rush and that's the other thing that my medical knowledge has helped me yeah it has helped me get the urgency because i treat human beings and people in a way of this is life we need to save it. You know, the way you treat, the agency that you treat with a human being, lots of people don't do it with animals, you know, probably with cattle, with chickens, with any other animal, they don't have that agency. For me, because I've been treating human beings this way, you know, knowing that it's a life that you could lose, I treat them with agents. And so that's the same thing with the cattle or the goats or the sheep or the chickens. When they get sick, I know that I have to act now or else I could lose the bird or I could lose the, the animal. And then, 
why on earth would I have gotten the money to invest in starting a poultry farm with 800 birds and spend lots of money? Guys, it's quite expensive starting a poultry farm from scratch, building the house, getting the chickens, buying the feeds. I had spent quite an amount of money. I'll actually tell you guys how much I had spent in a video link that I leave right here. But I would spent quite an amount of money by the time that my chickens got to a point of laying eggs and giving me back money. So I needed money somehow, somewhere to be able to invest. And I believe that for me in Uganda, being a doctor was one of like those perfect jobs. yeah. Because compared to most other professions in Uganda, medical doctors generally earn, you know, a bit better. Probably not as much as in the developed world out there and most other countries but compared to other professions in the country it's reasonably better so it helped me you know get the money to start up start up a poultry farm um and then look where i am look where i am i believe that this is an opportunity that i probably would never have gotten if i were not practicing medicine i honestly believe guys if i were doing some other profession or you know maybe if i become a pilot because i'd always dreamt of being a pilot or if i become an engineer i don't think i would be into farming so it has been a stepping stone for me to come this far so yes i don't feel guilty about quitting my medical practice to pursue poultry farming i believe that i'm just at the beginning of my journey as a farmer it hasn't been long you know I'm, I'm not yet even 29 years of age and i believe the world is wide open for me out there lots and lots of possibilities for me to do great and mighty things despite my medical background and i believe this is what has helped me become better thanks for watching guys lots of love catch you in the next one with another video bye bye